This video has two purposes. The first is to show you how to import a video and analyze its motion. The second is to show you how to take a position versus time graph and get the slope from it to find the velocity. To begin with, I've got Logger Pro running. When I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Insert menu, or Insert command on the menu, go down to where it says Movie. I recorded this video earlier, so what I'm going to do is just locate it, find it, click Open. The video is kind of small, so I'm going to enlarge it. Now, there's a certain order here to make sure this works the best. So kind of follow along with the, the order. Um, finding a place in the video can occur now or later. That's going to be okay. So I'm going to slide the little bar at the bottom. Yeah, that looks good. So I can see the cart just coming into view. Then I'll click on this little button in the lower right-hand corner. It's got those three dots in the triangle. This is going to enable and disable video analysis. Some new buttons appeared on the right-hand side. As I go down, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it where the origin is for my analysis. So it's the third button down from the top on the right-hand side. It says Set Origin. Click on that, and I'll set my origin. I'm going to choose this point right here. The next thing I need to do is I need to scale everything. So if I go to the fourth button down, the little yellow ruler down there says Set Scale. So I'm going to click on the Set Scale button, and I'm going to drag a line across my screen of an object whose size I know. So this measurement stick is 20 centimeters marked off, so I'm going to choose that. It's going to ask for the distance that I just measured, so what I'm going to do is type in 0 0.20 and the units are meters. And click on OK. I'm all set. I'm ready to start collecting data. So I'm going to click on the button that's the second from the top on the right hand side. It's got a little red dot on it. If I lift the cursor there, it says add point. So I'm going to add the point. Now my video is not quite in the right, right spot, so at the bottom I'm going to click on the next frame button just to move it over. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the motion of the transition point between the green part of the body and the black part of the body. Although you can choose any point you want to to identify. So I'll click there, click, and every time I click it keeps advancing a frame and taking the data. And you can see how the data fills in the column on the left. It actually says velocity. Let me slide that column over so you can see the position. There we go. There are the two positions in time. And I'll click some more data. Take your time and be very precise when collecting the data. Otherwise, it's going to add to the error of your measurements. So for the sake of time, I'm not going to collect all the data. I'll, I'll stop here. And Actually, I want to have one random piece of data that's going to be really wrong. So I'll put this piece of data over here. So that's going to be the piece that's going to be off. So at this point, I've collected all my data. Now here's a problem. The computer right now thinks that this movie, this video, is playing at... 29.97 frames per second, or about 30 frames per second. But actually, this is a high-speed video, and I took it at 240 frames per second, so I need to change the frame rate. What's important about all this is you need to change the frame rate after you collect the data. If you change the frame rate before you collect the data, the program has a little glitch in it. This is version 3.8.4, and it has a little glitch in it where it won't collect all the data when you want it to. So now, at this point, I'll change the options of the video. So I'm going to go to Options, and go to movie options and then I'll go down to where it says override frame rate 30 frames per second I'm going to type in 240 240 frames per second and click OK so now I've got that overridden and the time scale at the bottom is looking just the way I want it to look okay, so I've got my data in, got time scale, now it's time to analyze the graph so I'm going to get rid of the video just by clicking the delete key on the keyboard now I've got all this data down here, I'm going to look at the X data so I'm going to click on where the red X with the meter symbol next to it. I'm going to choose X for the measurement that I want to take. And I'm going to analyze some of the data, not all of it. So I'm going to highlight the data that I want to analyze. I'm going to make sure I don't highlight that last little piece of data. And I'm going to choose Analyze Linear Fit. So now I get an equation for a line. Unfortunately, I can't read that. So I'm going to double click on that box, go down to where it says Appearance, and choose Appearance, and change the font size from 10 224. That way when I put it into my report and the report shrinks the, the image down, I can still read what's down here. So here's the basic form, there's the slope, 1.271 meters per second. So that's the speed for the car for that region that I've highlighted. It's the slope, 2.271. It's the speed because we know that the slope on a position versus time graph is the velocity. And that's it.